What's up guys, I'm just on the road about to take off. I'm actually rolling already, but really slowly. So I promise I'm not gonna look at you as I drive. Uh, York was amazing, unbelievable. It was just so cool. And I would love to spend more time and explore it a little bit more. And hopefully at some point I'll get that chance. Right now I'm heading to the Lake District. I have a collaboration with another YouTube photographer. I think a lot of you have guessed who it's gonna be and I'm looking forward to it. So let's head that way. So I mentioned that there would be a guest appearance from a star YouTuber, and check out who we got. It's Thomas Heaton. Hello. What's going on, man? Yeah, good. What's yeah. the plan? The plan is to go hiking and do some photography, and we're gonna camp over. So that's uh, in the Lake District? It is, yes, which is pretty much where we are. Yeah, so I think it's a quick drive in. We're gonna pile into Thomas's vehicle here, and then cruise into the Lake District and do some hiking and photography, of course, and it should be fun. Yes, looking forward to it. Let's do it, man. Let's go. we're going off the path a little bit, we need to stock up on some food. I'm probably just gonna try to eat like Cliff Bars for two what days straight. Beer? Cliff we, Bars and beer, yeah. We've got room in your back for beer. Okay, so we've just started the hike. Um, it's been flat so far, but that's about to end, hey? It's just, it just gets hard from now on. And I'm so out of shape. I guess the plan is to climb up this little pass behind us and then try to figure something out once we get up to we the need, top. We need these clouds to clear away and that'll be much better then. I'm going to uh, do a little location scout and hopefully not fall into this creek <laughs> up here. Oh, it's swamp. I was hoping that, oh, maybe this works. I was gonna get the camera out because the weather's moody. There's like this cloud hanging, clinging there. And I thought that it would be cool to just get a shot up here with this bridge and the mountains. I wanted to do it back there with the long lens, but it's swamp and I'm not prepared for that. So I think I'm gonna get the camera out and just shoot this though. Kind of cool. So we've made it up to what is this? Tar this is Head Tarn. <laughs> Not a lake. <laughs> it's not a lake for the 42nd time. Um, we're here and like there's options now. We've got like we can camp here or we can hike up one of these peaks, but they're kind of socked in with uh, some cloud, so yeah. I don't know. But basically, mate, we have three options. We can either stay here at Stiehead Tarn, which is nice, but oh, man, it's a bank holiday, so it's busy. So we can see one, two, three tents already, which is okay. But it's not I'm gonna stop you for a second. Blue sky! Whoa, let's go that way. That was option. B. What option is that one? There's another tarn over that hill there. Uh, and it's actually the tarn where I shot my very first YouTube video, so we really? could go there and reminisce. I think we should do that, man. Do um, you think it's gonna be more clear there? Could be, could be. I think we should go up there, where there's a spot of blo a blue sky. It also looks like the clouds kind of get blocked in over there. So maybe they kind of like dump out on the windward side of the mountain. Okay, it's more uphill. I don't mind. What do you want to do? 
do it. It's called Sprinkling Tarn. Sprinkling Tarn, another uh, tarn. My first YouTube video, which is here. You can uh, you can see where we shot. I shot that all those years ago. I'll link that in the description of this video so you can see Thomas's first ever YouTube video. Don't look at my first ever YouTube video, please. <laughs> it is terrible. So the weather's kind of like jumping around a little bit. It's been like really cloudy and now it's kind of feeling like it might brighten up for us here. So we might, that's where we were planning on going. That's the tarn where Thomas shot his first video <laughs> as I always fall on camera. I honestly never fall when I'm not filming. When I film, I just fall all the time. But we're gonna go look up over this like pass right now to see if there's an image to be had that way because it's lightening up right there. We got like an hour until sunset, so we do have time. We're just gonna wander around, but shot or not, how beautiful is it up here? Like, check this out. It's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. So there's light poking through on the horizon there. And best case scenario is the sunlight punches through on the horizon and could light this all up. And it could be absolutely epic. So we're gonna risk it, even though we're kind of short on time. And we're gonna like race over the other side of this valley and up to one of these peaks and set up there. So we gotta move, but it has the potential to be epic or an epic failure. Let's go. If there's any light or anything of the sort, it's gonna happen just that way. And it's, the clouds are breaking up. We made it to Sprinkling Tarn, and every time I call it a lake, Thomas corrects me and is like, it's not a lake, it's a tarn, and then he just called it a lake. So um, we're here, we got 30 minutes until sunset. Uh, it's really cool here, and the clouds are kind of breaking up. If you wanted to go for like a really simple composition with a reflection, you could go this way or you can kind of risk the epic shot and I think go across to the other side of the tarn. So that's what we're going to do. And we're up on the other side with a little bit of time to spare. This is the view, it is ridiculous. So beautiful, we've got this little lake <laughs> in the foreground, the valley down that way, and then there's some color actually coming in the sky, so hopefully that holds off. I'm gonna get the camera gear set up, start taking some photos, and I think we're actually probably gonna set the tents up here too, hey? Yep. Yeah, tents going up here as well, probably on top of this hill. So yeah, this is epic, and hopefully the light is as well. Weather decided to misbehave on us, and uh, I guess the horizon's probably blocked off, the winds picked up, and the color that was in the sky has disappeared. It's still 10 minutes until sunset, but yeah, I think it's basically done. I don't think we're gonna get light again. I did pop off two exposures, and I'm trying like another third exposure right now, like a three minute exposure, trying to get some moodiness in this already moody scene. 
not that much luck, but you know, when you're out here, when you're at a place with this view and had like a really good hike and you got good company, it, it doesn't really matter if you get photos or not because it's just, yeah, it's perfect. So I think we're about to set up tents and I'm gonna set up the GoPro and we're gonna see who can set up a tent faster. It's probably gonna be Thomas because my tent is not the fastest in the world to set up, but it's bigger and bigger is better. Tents are set up. The race was good. I was strong and it ended up as a draw. Although don't tell Thomas, but he beat me by like two seconds, but don't need to boost his ego. Okay guys, I'm in my tent and uh, tucked away, and ready for bed. Even though we didn't get like the epic light, we still had just such a good day. And it was really cool meeting Thomas. You see people on like YouTube and online and you kind of get an impression of them. And it's really cool when you meet them in person and they're actually exactly like they are on their videos. It just reminds you that their videos are authentic, which is really cool. So it's been fun. I'm going to bed. I'm gonna probably sleep like a rock since I didn't sleep last night. Good night, Thomas Eaton. Oh yeah, all right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Oh my God. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Unbelievable. This fog is just like cruising over these hills through the valley.